In this video, I will show you how to play the intro for Sweet Child of Mine, plus the brief um, tone guide on how to get the tone that Slash uses to play this. So, I'm going to start with the riff. You play a 12 on the D string for the first note, and this first note varies every two times you play the riff, so it goes... <laughs> Then you go to the 15, or the 15 on the B, then a 14 G, then a 12 to the G. Then you would take it to the um, 14 on the um, G again, except this time you go like this. And then you go to the 13 on the E string. Then you can either go you go 14 again, and then you can either go bend it back or bar it to the um, 14 on the E, or you can just you can go like this, or you can go like this. Either way is just fine, but it's all on perception, whatever. Okay, you play this every time you play. Every time you play, you have to do this. But this note, this note can change every every two times you play the thing. So the variations of the riff is, and that one is played on the 14 on the D string instead of playing the um, uh, 12 on the G string or the D string or 14 on the D string instead of the 12 on the G, or the D. So it's... So that's that, and then you go to the 12 on the G string, and you go... So it's basically that. Just practice it and get it down, and once you've got it down, it is very 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 easy to play so I'm gonna go through a tone lab with you so what you wanna do to get Slash's tone is use um either a grunge pedal or a distortion that is like a deep light like bright tone and it has high gain and stuff you use that with a little bit of um a, little, a lot of reverb and a little delay. And if you use a delay just right, it's usually is the lowest setting you can go. Maybe a 1 on your delay. And a 5 halfway on your reverb if you can. And once you're done with that, you should have the slashes tone like this.